Colder air continues to blow on in this evening uh, thanks to those gusty winds driving it southward out of Canada. And it is going to stick around into tomorrow morning. Now, the evening, snow showers and flurries will continue to taper off as skies clear out tonight. And our temperatures keep on dropping. So I don't look for much accumulation out of these as they taper off and uh, move away by morning. And with those clear skies and that cold start tomorrow morning, you can expect a lot of sunshine. We'll drop into the middle teens. Now, not quite as windy tomorrow. Afternoon high temperatures building back through the 30s. We'll get above freezing. In fact, into the upper 30s by late afternoon. And not as windy. Uh, some breeze up to 15 miles per hour. So possible as that sun breaks out tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but dry weather expected right on into tomorrow night with mainly clear skies and not quite as cold. Temperatures dropping into the mid to upper 20s. Now, going into Wednesday, we'll start the day with all kinds of sunshine around. It's going to be warmer. Afternoon highs pushing close to 50 degrees, but the clouds will try to sneak in later in the afternoon into Wednesday evening. Overall, pretty quiet weather week shaping up for us. So, the snow showers and flurries will wrap up for us this evening. Still some gusty winds. Wind up to 20 miles per hour or higher through this evening, but it tapers off overnight as skies clear out and it gets colder to get the day going. 38 your high temperature tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, and look for more sunshine to return uh, through the middle of the week. Highs near 50 on Wednesday. There's a small chance that a flurry sneaks back in Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Other than that, just some clouds around on Thursday, but colder. Highs in the middle to upper 30s, and then a slow warming trend. A building in through the late weekend weekend, but overall looking dry. Highs back in the mid 40s by Saturday and Sunday, and pushing toward the 50s again through early next week.